Hey, it's Tom. Um, the Abaya Woodsman tagged me in a, um, uh, I, I guess it's a, your old pocket knife video. I guess that's what it would be called. Excuse me. So I, uh, I dug out three generations of knives. And, uh, they're really neat. So, let's get on with it. This is my grandfather's. This is an Ulster. And he was a woodworker and a carver, and as you can see by that main blade, he used it a lot. There's a secondary blade on it. And I love this screwdriver uh, bottle opener thing, because this is actually kind of sharp. I think you might have used that as a chisel at one time. But, these, this is real bone. This is not plastic. Look at that can opener. It's a whole different ball game than uh, most can openers. Yeah, I, I might even take this hunting this year. He, I, have his, uh, I have his shotgun here. And I might just do a sentimental trip. Also, has a really nice bail on it. And I'll tell you what, these older knives, they were built like tanks, even at the cheap ones. And this is, a, this is honestly a cheap knife for the time. This is maybe, like I said, you used to be able to find these on cards. I, uh, Dave Woods Bushcraft or Survival, I do a live show on there every day, uh, Friday at 9 o'clock. And uh, actually, John and I were talking... Friday about old pocket knives and stuff and uh, used to be able to find these on cards and barber shops and you know fishing tackle shops and just about anywhere I remember the five of dime used to have them too but this is the grandfather's now this is my dad's this is a regular camp king and these you could uh, you could find these on them cards, like I said. I I think this one was uh I think this was two fifty when you bought it. I believe so. But it has a really nice um uh, main blade on it. You can see by the can opener from the other one how they changed over the years. And your typical screwdriver, see how short it is with the bottle opener. Now the all on this is kind of a different scenario. It's a it's a flat tip. And there you go. Now you can see it. But it also has a groove in it. See that groove? And that is sharpened too. As you can tell, that is sharpened too, and you can use it like a gouge. It's pretty neat. I don't know if Dad did that or. I don't mind, my camp king didn't come like that, so Dad had to do that for some reason because he was a he was a wood carver too. He never used this knife very much. You can tell by the, the snap of the blades. But as soon as I get my Dremel tools up and working and a place to work with them, I'll be cleaning these up. And he always did take these bales off. He never did like them. So that was my grandfather's and my dad's and. This is uh, this is an imperial fish knife. This is like I said, used to get them on cards. I think that was two fifty or three dollars. This was like a dollar and a half. But I'll tell you what, they're carbon blades. All of them are, and um, they they take razor edge. So this is uh, I did a review on this knife one time and. Um, you know, it's got the mother of pearls. It's cellulose. It's not, uh, it's like a sticker with plastic over it. It's not real stuff. Actually, this one's not the sticker. This one's plastic. But, you know, you have your typical bottle opener. Because like John said in his, his video, you didn't have twist off in the day. So you had a bottle opener. There's a fish scaler there. It, it works really good. And a hook disgorger. What you would do is you'd stick this down and catch the hook. 
pop it out of the fish, and you'd hold your line tight here, and it would bring the hook right back out to you. The main blade is, um, I believe it's 4 inch. Like I said, they're nice carbon steel knives. And uh, this knife is really designed, and I think that's why they call them fish knives, not just because of the other blade, but this knife is designed as a fillet knife. It's designed to fit your hand perfect to fillet fish with. Very thin blade. The only reason why I bought this to hunt with is after having the Camp King, it had a very short blade. And like I said in the video, I had lost a Cam King like right after I got it. And um, I went back and I bought this one because of the length of the blade. <laughs> Even back then, I liked my big blade knives. But yeah, that's the only reason why I bought this. Not because I was fishing with it, but it had a nice uh, size main blade on it. And it was an all around knife for me. It did everything camp, hunt, fish. So. That's my three knives, John. You're only supposed to show one, but hey, you know, we had generations here. And, um, so I'm supposed to tag some people. I think I'm going to tag, um, Blackie Thomas from Shaman's Forge. I'd like to see his old pocket knives. He's another pocket knife lover. And, um,. I haven't seen a video from him in a long time, so I'm going to say Dino. Black E. Dino. Um, Black E. Dino and who else? Blackie Dino and really big monkey one, Dave Pearson. I'm sure he's got some uh, some old ones sitting around. So, there's three that I tagged. And the brain's in a fog this morning, so I, I played last night to like 2 o'clock. So. Um, yeah. So, let's see your knives, guys. Uh, thanks to my woodsman. If you don't... Yeah, I'll get over there and uh, give John a look and uh, Dino and Blackie and they're all great guys, great content on their channels. And uh, it's Tom. I want to thank you for your time and your patience. If you're not subscribed, please do. And we'll see you on the next one.